Hey, what's up guys? This is Destiny Heroic and I'm coming at you again uh, today with a deck profile. Uh, this is my uh, Gansalot based Liberator deck. Uh, so let's get right into it here. I'll start up here with the grade 3s. Um, obviously 4 and 4 of each Gansalot. I'm running 8 Gansalots because of another card in the deck. But uh, in order to pull off your break ride, you pretty much want to run uh, 4 and 4 of each. Um, and pulling off the break ride not only uh, gives you a good power turn, um, it also gives Gansalot his uh, cross ride ability. So we definitely want to run 4 and 4. Um, in terms of grade 2s, um, I'm getting away from the traditional gold paladin approach of uh, filling up the field and focusing more on uh, attacking pressure. So I've got four copies of Dorga Liberator, uh, counterblast one and add five to himself whenever another Liberator hits, hits the Vanguard. So with a 7k behind him, he becomes a 14, he becomes a 21k column just because something else hit. So that's really good, and it's also a good unit to call out off of the uh, Zenith ability. Uh, Falons, because they're just 12Ks, they come out at 22 from Zenith. And I'm using three copies of Raynet. Um, Raynet helps me, as the Vanguard at grade 2, he helps me uh, get additional copies of Gansalot to either ditch to the drop zone or uh, solidify my cross ride. Uh, for grade 1s, uh, four copies of Bruno. He's a standard 7k, but he also goes up to 10k when you call something out with a, with a Zenith ability. So that's really good. Uh, three copies of Marin. Marin I like in this deck because you're not always going to call a good, uh, uh, like a, a grade 2 or a grade 3 unit off the top of the deck. Um, Marin can act as a pseudo grade 2 unit um, and also a booster, so she's really good. Um, I'm using three copies of Gorloa. Um, he's the uh, Gansalot Recycler and adds 5k to Gansalot for uh, recycling one in the drop zone. Uh, he's not too good to call out with Gansalot, but uh, um, in the late game, once you've been able to uh, play a few Gansalots and lose a few to the drop zone, he becomes quite powerful. Um, and for Sentinel lineup, uh, three copies of Mark and one copy of Igrain. Igrain helps to fuel the Gorlois ability. That's the only reason she's in there. Um, and the trigger lineup is pretty standard. Uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, triggers available to to uh, liberators right now. So it's basically just your eight crits, uh, your four draws, and your four heals. There's nothing much to say about it there. Um, and as my starter, I'm using the non-liberator Holy Squire Enid. Um, I've got a lot of units that counterblast in this deck, not the least of which is Gansalet Zenith. So I've opted not to use uh, Spring Breeze Messenger. Um, the reason behind that is uh, he's a free he, he's a free unit, but he costs a counterblast to get. And the only benefit is that you get to, to look at the top three cards. Enid is a free card, but he doesn't cost a counterblast. So I, I get the same amount of advantage without using counterblast. So that's why I'm using Enid instead of Spring Breeze Messenger. And I don't have any way to unflip damage. Uh, so I prefer to conserve my counterblast for better abilities like uh, like Igrain or Raynet or Zenith or Dorgal. So that's the Liberator deck. Um, it's actually won me a tournament. <laughs> uh, the one tournament I played it in, I won. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, this was actually a pretty short video. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, comment, subscribe. Um, I have a lot more decks, and uh, I can do more profiles if you'd like to see more of that stuff. So let me know. Peace.